what's going on guys this is me Ron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a user registration form in csap.net using SQL server database well in some application that you are going to develop may need user registration and later only can be logging into the system that you are going to develop after registration you have to send either an email or SMS to the user Watch the previous video for this tax. The link is in the description. So in this video, we are going to talk about user registration only. So let's do it. First of all, you have to have Microsoft Visual Studio and Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio in your system. So open up Visual Studio, go to File, click on New, and then click on Project. And then from here, select Visual C Sub, Windows, and Windows Form application, give the name of your project and then click on OK. Then expand this form a little bit over here and from here go to toolbox, go to command controls and then from here drag and drop labels, some labels over here. Generally, in user registration form, what we have to take the input from the user is first name, last name, address, gender, email, phone, username, and then password. So, drag and drop eight labels. And then drop over the form. And again, drag and drop some text box over here. and then one combo box for gender. Now we have to change the property of its label that is the text property of its label. So select the label and from the property window change the text of its label. Here goes first name and then here goes last name and then here goes address and then here goes gender and then here goes email here goes phone here goes username And finally, her good password. You can also increase the font size of its level. So you can also increase the font size of its level. So select this label and from the property, go to font and click the size. And here you can give the size whatever you want. In this way, you can increase the font size of its level. Let me arrange this text box and combo box over here. There you go. Now uh, you have to change the name of each text box and combo box. So select the text box and from the property of this text box, find the name property. And here goes txt of name. It's always good practice to give the name of each control while you are doing project because while you are writing the code, you can easily remember which text box is associated with which label. Here goes txt lname, here goes txt add, here goes cmb cmb gender here goes txt email here goes txt phone here goes 
txt user and finally here goes txt pass so here one more thing when the user type their password in the password field the actual text should not be displayed so we need to display the password in the form of some other special character like asterisk or has so we have one property of text box that is password care so select this password and from the property there you can see password character and place any character you like i'm going to use the asterisk and place enter and one more button over here drag and drop one more button and this button name should be button text should be register and you can also change the name of this button to btn register there you go we just complete the simple ui of our registration form now we are going to create the database in the sql server so open up sql server management studio and from the database right click over database click on new database and give the name of the database and then click ok now expand this database you will see your recently created database expand again expand this database and expand the table right click over table and click on table now we are going to create the table here it goes first name and data type is bear care last name bear care address bear care gender bear care email bear care phone bear care username bear care password bear care just press ctrl plus s from your keyboard and give the name of the table register and then click ok now go back to visual studio click the server explorer right click over data connection click or add connection here change the data source to sql server click ok and here give the name of the server run dash pc or you can simply click this drop down icon and uh, you will see your server name and then select that server name and select the database from here like we have register database sorry user register cs and then click ok now click this database and from the property of this database copy the connection string and double click this register now we are going to write the code first of all we need to import some namespace over here so using system dot data using system dot data dot sql client now we are going to write the code inside the clicking event of the register button so here first of all we need to connect this application with the database so sql connection con is equal to new sql connection and here goes the parameter that is connection string that we recently copied so paste over here and what we are going to do is we are going to insert the user input data in the database so for this sql command cmd is equal to new sql command and we are going to write the insert sql query over here so go back to sql server right click over your table scripted as insert to new query and simply copy this sql query and then go back to visual studio and paste over here 
that you can see there is a red line so to remove this red line place a red sign now here we are going to pass the text box and combo box values so just remove it two single quotes inside two single quotes two double quotes inside two double quotes two plus sign and inside that plus sign we are going to pass the text box value so txt f name dot text similar process txt l name dot text txt address dot text cmb gender dot selected item dot to string oh sorry i forget one thing we need to pass some item in the combo box so go back to design select the combo box and from the item property click over there here goes male female others and click ok now go back to source code now here good sorry txt email dot text here goes txt phone dot text here goes txt user dot text and finally here goes txt pass dot text there you go the another argument of this class is connection now we need to open this connection connection dot open now we need to execute this query so cmd dot execute non query and we need to close this connection connection dot close now we need to display the message to the user so message box dot so register successfully that's it now let's run your project now insert the corresponding value select the gender And then click on register there you go register successfully now let's check whether this value is inserted in our database or not so for this go to sql server right click over your table click on edit top 20 rows there you go all value is inserted in our table so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about this tutorial and give thumbs up which really motivates us to make such programming video and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel subscribe this channel and don't forget to press that bell icon because when i upload the new tutorial you will get the notification so thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye